Hello, welcome to Trees Craft some more. I am going to show you a really quick and easy DIY Halloween decoration. So what you're going to need is a glass jar. I'm going to be making three of them. I have three of these, which was a uh, jar that had jam in it. And I've taken off the label. You can use any jar you want, except for that you're going to want a jar that the mouth of the jar can fit a tea light candle the wax ones. So I've taken the label off, clean, or I've cleaned out the jar, taken the label off, and then I've wiped it down with rubbing alcohol to get any of the remaining uh, glue off the jar or fingerprints, which I'm trying not to stick more on there. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a piece of black foam, and I got this um, don't know where I got it. I think I got it at Walmart or the dollar store. These are just leftover remaining pieces that I have, but I'm pretty sure the dollar store sh uh, sells them. And I'm going to be cutting a jack-o'-lantern face out of this, a simple one. You can get crazy about it if you want to. Um, so I'm just going to cut it without drawing it out. Do the eyes, and I'm going to do a nose. So I have my eyes and my little nose, and now I'm going to do the mouth. I have my hot glue gun heating up. And I'm going to do that over because I cut too far and cut it in half. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to cut like a little space out in the top of my mouth for a tooth. A little opening. You can cut the face any way you want. Alright, so I've got one cut out, and we'll see, is my gun hot? Yes it is. Alright, and I went ahead and turned on my stove light to put more light on here. So I'm going to turn the, the glass over sideways, and I'm going to place a dot of hot glue on it wherever I want the face. And because on this jar I happen to have writing on the top, I'm going to go just a little bit lower with the face. So you can use any jar you want. So I put a dot of glue on there. Okay, that's going. This uh, nose is a little bit smaller and I don't want to burn my fingers, so that one I'm applying to the uh, jar instead of the foam. And you could possibly get some little glue strings, but when it dries up you can pull them off. Now do the mouth. So, there I have my face. And I'm going to do the rest of my faces and jars off camera. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to finish this up.
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add water. And I'm not going to go all the way up to the top. Now we're going to add food coloring. So we're going to add, we're going to make orange. So we're going to add 17 yellow drops of the basic primary yellow. And then the same here, we're going to do red primary and we're going to do three red drops. And you can of course adjust the color to the uh, shade you want. I'm going to stir that up. As you can see, it makes a nice, neat little design. Okay, so I have a tea light candle. That's wax. And I believe you can get these at the dollar store too, or at Walmart, or online. They're not very expensive. I'm going to go ahead and float that very carefully in there. And light my candle. my candle floating a little ways away from the edge, but we'll see if we can do that. It's going to move around, but it is in water. So, we have my jack-o'-lantern with the lights on, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you with the lights off. I'm going to finish off my other ones and show you with the lights off. So there you have the final product. I hope you enjoy this. Um, it's very uh, inexpensive and easy to make. Thank you for watching and please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to be having a Halloween uh, tour of my house decorated sometime soon coming up. And then perhaps my window display would be on the same video or separate. Thank you for watching.